In this video, we can learn how to make eyes stand out and have dimension by adding a kicker light. Makes so much more difference. So this is pretty quick. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop world. So before we begin, a very big thank you to Andrus Vargas for submitting this photo. He's an awesome photographer, much appreciated brother. If you want to check more of his work, go ahead and check it out right here. Select the elliptical marquee tool and let's zoom in and make a selection around the eyeball. Okay. Now this might not be perfect. Pro tip, if you want to move the selection, hold the space bar. So when you hold the space bar, you can easily move the selection. This is good. Now let's adjust accordingly. Stay away from the corners. Okay. Stay away from these corners of the eye and make a selection, leave a little bit space and make a selection. Okay. Now this is fine. Little oval. There you go. Okay. That's pretty much it. Now all you need to do now watch where the light is coming from. If the light is coming from the top, create a line perpendicular to it. If the light is coming from the side, create a line perpendicular to it. Now, what do I mean by that? Let me make myself quite clearer. Select the polygon lasso tool and press and hold. Make sure this one is selected, the normal one and press and hold alter option. And this changes this to a minus one. So the light is coming from the top. So we are going to make a straight line perpendicular to it. Okay. Now, if the light was coming from this side, we would make a line something like this. And if the light was coming from the left hand side from here, we would make a line something like this. Since the light is coming from the top, we'll create a line from the middle of the eye and delete the upper portion of the selection. So this is okay. There you go. Let's delete it. Okay. Now what do we have here is looks like a melon. Now we need to delete the area of the pupil. So to do that, select the elliptical marquee tool again, press and hold alt or option. If you're using a Mac, this turns this into a negative selection. Okay. We need to delete this, right? Press and hold space bar to move it. Alt is pressed all the time. Alter option is pressed. Okay. This is fine. This is okay. Leave it. We need to smoothen the selection, but before we smoothen the selection, let's fill it with white. So let's create a new layer and let's fill it with white. Make sure white is the foreground color to switch between foreground and background. Press X, this switches and then press alt and backspace option and backspace. If you're using a Mac, this fills it with white. If you cannot fill it, you can always fill it with the paint bucket tool, control D and then let's smoothen it. Go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's smoothen it quite a bit. Not too much, quite a bit. The edges should become round. This is too much. This is good. I think nine would be a good number to be. Okay. Now let's change the blend mode just to overlay. Look at the magic. Now you can make it a little smaller if you want to move the anchor point in the pupil around the pupil and press and hold shift and alt and make it smaller. Okay. Just keep it away from the corners. Okay. Corners need to be dark to accentuate the eye. Okay. Now have a look, have a look at the before and after. Let me zoom out quite a bit. So this is the before. This is the after you can always go ahead and copy it for the right eye. So select the move tool, press and hold alt or option and copy it and move it to the right. eye. There you go. Now let's group both of them. Control G, select both of them, control G. And then as usual, you know it, opacity is our best friend. All right. So let's decrease it. The opacity. There you go. Now this makes so much more difference. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before. This is after the eye was flat. Now it has a lot more dimension. Hope this video helped you. And if it did, make sure to give us a like. And also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe. If you want more tutorials like this, make sure you hit the bell button so that you don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.